A dozen years have passed since the tragic events of September 11, 2001 that took the lives of nearly 3,000 innocent people. We fly the American flag at half-staff in their honor and in honor of those who serve. This day has been officially named Patriot Day, the National Day of Service and Remembrance. Since 9-11-2001, more than one million military members have served in our all-volunteer armed forces here in the United States and abroad and in the direct support of operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. As we observe Patriot Day 2013, we ask that you pay tribute to those who serve this great nation, honor those we lost since 2001, honor and continue to support those injured and always remember those who continue to serve and protect our great nation. This day has special meaning for all Americans, but most especially for those who serve, have lost loved ones, or assisted in the rescue and recovery efforts at the Pentagon, New York City, and in Pennsylvania. This is most meaningful to me because I was there, inside the Pentagon on September 11, 2001, when the plane hit our building. My colleagues and I remember the shutter of the building and the smoke. We remember the wounded that walked out. We remember the chaos amid the smoke. But most of all, we remember those who risked their lives to enter and re-enter the blackened corridors to rescue those that were trapped inside. At a triage point outside the Pentagon, warriors and civilians used whatever means available to render comfort and to move the wounded to local hospitals after first aid was administered. That day, like no other day, made me realize the people who stand strong in a crisis come from expected and unexpected sources. On that day, we were united in our response to those injured and killed and to their families in the aftermath. On this day, September 11, simply remember, that's all, simply remember.